This right here is made by Wonton Craft and it is their newly released portable camera pouch in size medium. So let's dive right into this. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives and today I wanna to go over this little pouch here. Now, as I mentioned, this is made by Wonton Craft and it is their portable camera pouch they just recently released and it is in the size medium. Now, the reason I picked this up was I was looking for a camera pouch that I could use as kind of like a standalone, whether I needed to just throw my X100 uh, 5 or 6 in a bag with other stuff or if I wanted to use it as like a standalone sling. I just wanted something a little bit smaller than what I have been using. This right here is what I have been using as a sling and I do love the bag. It's been great. I've been using it every day and I was just looking for something maybe a little bit smaller if I only wanted to carry the camera bare essentials. That's why I picked up this little pouch here. Let's take a closer look into this. Just got both of these in. This is the Wonton Craft portable camera pouch. This is this is from Dan Masuda, and this is the patch panel. Been looking for something to display my patches. Most of the time, I've been throwing them in the truck, but I wanted something for the desk. This is by Dan Masuda, and it is just a Velcro patch panel. Uh, most of the time, I display my patches in my truck, and I wanted some way to kind of display them at my desk. I went ahead and picked this up because I do carry a lot of different patches. So there we go. Let's go ahead and pull that tab. Pull a cloth bag for this. Here it is. Here we have Wonton Crafts portable camera pouch and this is in size medium. This just was released recently. I did pre-order it, so. Glad it got shipped out pretty quickly. Now this is made of 500D canvas, has a microfiber lining and supposed to be a water repellent coating. It has the YKK zippers on it. This is Italian cowhide for the grab handle. Two little tabs there so you can add um, a strap if you want. So let's go ahead and open this. Got a nice little front pouch here, memory cards, batteries. And then for the main compartment, or actually before we get into that, let's just go over dimensions. This is going to be the exterior in inches. It's 6.1 by 3.54 by 2.51. Now in centimeters, this is going to be 15.5 by 9 centimeters by 6.4. And these are all dimensions that are listed on their website. Opening the pocket. We're gonna have a microfiber lining, which you can see in there. So they advertise this being able to fit both the filter with the hood on it or just the filter on it. So on both these cameras, I have the filter adapter. I do have a filter on there and this just has a lens cap and then this has the hood. So let's go ahead and, and see how these fit in here. Go ahead and put that one in here. And we'll go ahead and close this one up. So yeah, that fits in there. Let's go ahead and actually flip this around because I think it'd be easier to grab it this way. So again, uh, I have little anchors on there for the peak design system. Those fit pretty nicely. I actually have a question of how things will fit in here because that looks like it's pretty tight. So let me just pull the battery out of here I'm just gonna pull the battery out of that camera and I'm gonna use this as a memory card. Supposedly these are in like a single uh, container, which I would recommend putting them in there. I wouldn't just throw this in here. So for the memory card, uh, oh man, I make sure you have a case on these cause I'd be worried. Not honestly, not a whole lot of room, right? So I guess if you had this in a single case for a memory card in a single battery, that would work, you're able to close it off, but there really isn't a whole lot of room in here. So let me pull that out. And pull the battery out. As you can see, it's pretty tight. Let's pull this Fuji camera out and go into the next one. This one, as you can see, I have the filter adapter with my everyday filter by Polar Pro. 
to you haven't used one of these i definitely recommend picking it up love it pretty much lives on this at this point but we're gonna stick this in here with the lens facing outward so yeah that works i mean with the hood it should be a little bit longer so this definitely should work but again i think that if i'm carrying anything in this it's definitely going to be having the lens face inward with the small part on the lcd side close that up and then again we're going to take a battery it is really tight so you're not going to be able to fit much in there maybe a lens cloth a single sd card single battery go ahead and close that up it does fit in there so this is again the medium size perfect size for the fuji x100 5 or 6 or the x100 series cameras i really wouldn't put anything bigger than that in here and they are coming out with a large one if they haven't already so they might fit a little bit more they have these little tabs right here and this is so you can add like your own carrying system the reason that i picked this one up is i wanted a camera case that i could carry that would just hold the camera and that's opposed to this if you recognize this this is the alpaca go mini version one and so you my like edc setup so i got like headphones in here allergy meds uh, a few little tools hard drive and what i do for this is i'll just go ahead and throw my camera in here and then lately i've been i have this little extra cloth i'll just throw that on top and close it up if i wanted to go really minimal i wanted something i could do that with i love these things these are by peak designs they're anchors they work with their systems so for like their cuff strap or for their uh, camera straps that's what you use these for so i'm just going to go ahead and add that now what this will allow you to do is bring in my peak designs camera strap here is you can go ahead and just connect these together and use this as a carrying case with a shoulder strap and then what i was thinking is that when i didn't want this in the case what i could do is i would undo that strap and just hook this straight up to the camera so the camera would be slinged because this is so small and compact i could fit this in like my back pocket if you're wearing cargo pants just sticking in there something so small that you could easily just stuff it in a pocket and then that way you could shoulder sling your camera if you wanted to that's why i picked this one up overall for first impressions all right i think this is a nice little package it isn't too much i think this was about 50 dollars or 49 on the website i did order directly from them uh shipping was a few bucks and it did arrive here in less than a week once they shipped it out so that was pretty nice I think that if you're looking for a very compact case, definitely check this one out. I think it is worth it. So here you go. This is the portable camera pouch by Wonton Craft. They do make it in a size large and small. This is the medium. If you have any questions about this, let me know down below. I'm looking forward to this weekend. I will be taking it out, testing it a little bit. Once I get a little bit more um, experience with it, I'll definitely do an update video in the future. If you have any questions about this product, let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the new subscribers lately. I always look forward to seeing uh, the new comments and new people following. For me, I really appreciate that, especially if you watch the entire video at the whole and you get to this point. Thank you guys. I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.